Hello, and welcome back to another Zero Linux video. Yeah, I decided to make a standalone video, although I said I won't. But hey, I got the courage to today, so why not make one? Today's subject? Well, something people thought that will never happen. Uh, but before we get into it, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to get more videos, and don't forget to ring the ring-a-ling ding bell to get notified of new videos if I make any. <laughs> so uh, help the uh, help the channel out. But anyway, let's uh, let's get into it. Today's subject is Hyperland. Yeah, a Hyperland config, a zero Linux Hyperland config. It's not gonna be an ISO. Never ever will it be an ISO. So don't even get your hopes up on that. It's just an installation script that you have to run, as I'll show you, after a basic Arch install. I did it that way because I didn't want anyone to install it on top of an existing desktop environment or window manager for stability, you know? If you install it next to GNOME or KDE, things might go haywire. And since I don't use Hyperland much, I won't be able to help you much. That's the disclaimer out of the way. And uh, with that, let's uh, get onto the desktop, shall we? All right. So I wrote a wiki on the Zero Linux wiki page for the dot file. It's called Zero Layin now on Hyperland. So what did we decide to do? We decided to um, bring the KDE style, the, uh, the Zero Linux KDE style to Hyperland. So the same lay-in uh, theme to Hyperland. So as you can see from the screenshot, this is what it will look like post-install. Zooming in a little bit. This is the browser. We deci uh, I decided to ship Falcon to get you up and running. And then you install the browser that you need afterwards. So it's just a browser to install another browser, basically, sort of like on Windows. We, we use Edge to install Firefox, to install Brave, to install what have you. So it's just there because I don't want to get into the whole browser shenanigans. Why did you include Firefox, not Brave? Why did you include Brave, not Firefox? I don't want to get into that. So Falcon will be the default browser. Then you install whichever browser you want. Simple as that. Uh, we ship Kitty as a terminal with, of course, a fast fetch and an image, and oh my posh for the prompt. As for the file manager, we decided to ship uh, with Thunar because Thunar, I, in my opinion, and you can replace it with whatever you want, it fits better uh, the whole Hyperland uh, aesthetic. As for the top bar, it's uh, Waybar because it's simple. I know, I know some of you might say, why Waybar? Why not uh, Hyper Panel or Hyper Bar or whatever it's called? So, well, you, you're free to change. It's just our choices. And we decided to ship also <laughs> NWG Doc. What else did we decide to ship? Um, we decided to ship, uh, okay, Kitty Wallpaper, Waypaper, Icon Stella Circle Purple. Lay in dark. Uh, menu, Rofi, of course. We chose the Rofi Wayland uh, package. NWG Doc, Thunar, Waybar, Hyper, uh, Hyperlock, Hyper Idle, W Logout, Grim Slurp, plus Sati for screen, uh, capturing a screenshot. I will uh, have a link to this uh, wiki in the description. Don't forget to visit it because it, it will show you how to install the whole conf uh, config and you will find all the default keybinds, thanks to Array for doing, uh, doing all that. And uh, credits go, all the credit, credits go to him. I just came up with the ideas, and then he put them to practice. He's, uh, he knows his way around Hyperland more than I ever will. But together with also D-dubs, shout out D-dubs, uh, he was the uh, advisor one of the best advisors out there. He's got experience with every window manager in existence. But other than that, you're gonna have the FAQ applying and uh, uh, showing you how to do things, applying different theme. With this intro aside, shall we get into it? All right. 
first things first. First, you need to get the latest version of Arch, uh, the Arch ISO, boot into it. Uh, and then we install Arch Linux, but I'll show you how to install it in order for the uh, dot files to work. Because the, the dot files don't only in, uh, install the, the, the theming stuff, it will install Hyperland and everything related to it uh, as well. So before we start, this is the, uh, the Arch ISO from the beginning of June, but it doesn't include the latest version of Arch install. So in order to run, to, to, to run the latest version of Arch install, we type pacman dash syy arch install. So that way it's going to install the latest version of Arch install so you don't have any issues because the previous versions have a lot of issues. Plus the fact that uh, XF86 video VMware is no longer on the Arch repositories. If you run Arch install without update, it's gonna fail because that package no longer exists on the Arch repos. Keep that in mind. So you have to update Arch install before running it. Now that we, that we updated it, now we run it. Arch install. And I would like to do dash dash advanced always because we need the, the parallel downloads is still under advanced for whatever reason. And I tried to get the uh, Arch, de Arch install developers to move it outside the advanced flag. They're not gonna budge on that. So let's not get into this can of worms. All right, now it's gonna run that. You go through the regular stuff, mirroring repositories, this configuration, partitioning, use best effort, select the one. I use the XT4. No, I don't want a separate home partition. Back, swap, no, bootloader, always grub. I will never use system D uh, boot because I don't like it. If you want to go with it, go with it. Just know that zero Linux, uh, the zero, uh, the hyper zero, as I call it, the hyperland config expects you to have grub. So host name, I'm not going to change it. Root password, user account, add users, zero. Password, yes, confirm and exit. Bye bye profile. I will always recommend you skip that if you value your sanity. But then again, do whatever you want. Audio pipewire, kernels, okay, Linux is the default, network configuration, network manager, parallel downloads. I'm going to set it to six because my connection is not the best. Additional packages. Yes, you will need additional packages. If you skip that part, the hyper zero config is not going to work. So you type forward slash to look for the package you want. We need git. You hit enter again, forward slash curl. Enter again, forward slash uh, nano. That's it. Time zone forward slash my time zone. Asia Beirut. I forgot to mention mirrors and repositories. I was confused there for a second. I didn't know since it, this Arch install is new. I didn't notice that they merged the mirrors and repositories under a single menu. Before it used to be two separate menus. Make sure you enable the multi lib repository. If you don't, you're in for a bad time. Optional repositories, you make sure you enable the multi lib. Do not forget that. So I'll be right back once the system is installed. All right, the system has been installed. Now, when you are prompted with uh, what you wanna do at the end, you just exit Arch install. And in my case, I have to power off, eject the ISO so I can boot. So I type power off, simple as that, power off. I don't know why nobody knows about this, uh, this command, but well, you heard it here first. I guess now we boot into our newly installed minimal Arch install, Arch Linux. Select it. Now we log in with our newly created user, zero. And the password. Okay, now here's how to install Hyper Zero config. You do git clone https semicolon blah, github 
dot com forward slash zero Linux forward slash hyper zero dash git. There you go. All this is mentioned in, on the wiki link down below the in the description. So now that we git cloned it, we cd into hyper zero dot git and then we run dot forward slash install dot sh simple as that now what will the script do the script will add the zero linux uh, repository ask you which aur helper you want because i'm not going to force you with either yay or peru it's up to you the choice the choice is up to you so th there you go and then it's going to go ahead and install Hyperland and everything required to get it uh, up and uh, running and apply the uh, and finally apply the grub theme and the Hyperland config. We'll see this happening right in front of our eyes. Enter, adding the zero Linux repository as you can see. Type your password. I have caps lock. I had caps lock. <laughs> My hand. I got chubby fingers. So now. It's going to ask you, what do you want? Yay or Peru? I always select Peru because it's written in Rust, the language of the future. And it's a memory safe language. So yay is getting up there in age. It's not as maintained as Peru. So, but the choice is yours. If you're used to yay, use yay. Doesn't matter. It will work either way. So now it's uh, compiling Peru from the AUR. It's not on any repo included repository, so it's going to compile it. Again, I'll get back once we get to the portion that's important. All right, we're at the end of the installation phase. All the services have been enabled. So at the end, it's going to prompt you, do you want FastFetch to run uh, on terminal launch? So there was a complaint way, way back telling me, I don't want FastFetch to run every time I open terminal. Well, okay, I, I created a solution. To every problem, there's a solution. So in my scripts now, it will prompt you, do you want or don't you want it? If you say no, it's not going to run on, uh, on terminal startup unless you type fast fetch. Simple as that. So I'm going to hit yes. It will add it to bash RC. In case you use ZSH RC, you'll have to add the line yourself. And now it's installing the grub uh, theme, installing the lay-in theme. It installs the lay-in theme from source. I do not install the any theme from uh, from the AUR because outdated packages and it installs in uh, under root. This one it installs it the correct way under dot themes. Okay, now we need to reboot our system. Now that everything is done, we reboot our system. We type reboot. Okay, a and ta-da! You get a themed grub, the one that is part of zero Linux KDE edition, of course, because it's laying. And now we're going to see SDDM, a custom SDDM theme created for HyperZero. Welcome back. You hit enter, we type our password, and here we go. Using the latest Hyperland, thank you. HyperDoc is empty. It's waiting for you to populate it with the icons you want. So, as you can see in Waybar, we have what I love most, the network activity. We got the uh, network config. You click on it, you get to the network config. Uh, we got the volume. You click on it and you modify the volume in Pavu control. And super Q quits. We got a package. If, you, if there are any updates, it will show you how many updates you have and you click it, it will run the custom the Zero Linux custom updater script. I wrote this, I integrated it on every single spin of Zero Linux and uh, Hyper Zero. So you hit yes. It's going to check for native packages. As you can see, Multilib is enabled, Zero Linux repository is enabled. It's going to check for AUR updates. And it's going to check for Flatpak updates because I included Flatpak. It's, by, it's created by me. Nothing created by me will skip Flatpak. Use them, don't use them, it's up to you. It's there if you want to use them. 
So, and another thing I need to note about Zero Linux, in case, uh, Zero, Hyper Zero, in case you decide on using uh, Flatpaks, they're going to respect your system theme because I included the uh, required override. So don't worry, whatever theme you apply, all Flatpaks are going to respect that theme. So I'm going to say no here because we don't have any Flatpaks. VM shell detected, firmware pat, uh, patch skip. So it's going to check for ru uh, Rust updates in case you use Rust up. But since it wasn't detected, it's not going to do it. And firmware updates. So native packages, AUR, Flatpaks, firmware, and Rust up. It's a wonderful script. And it's got a, got a special something to it. And if you want to grab a screenshot, you just click here. It's going to use SATI. You just grab the screenshot. And if you want to save it, you just click Save. Save to a, fol a folder in your home directory called SATI. And you just hit Escape to get out of that. We got a button here to get to your keybinds. And you browse your keybinds here, whatever you want. And you can search if you want. You hit Escape to get out of that. And if you want to run the, zero, the included Zero Linux toolkit, of course, it's by me, so my toolkit will be included. There you go. And you start using it from here. If you want to run Rofi, it's uh, Superspace. Superspace gets you to Rofi. We included also NWG displays to modify your, di your display configuration using a GUI rather than a uh, config file. I hate, if you know me very well, you would know that I hate config files. So if I can do it with a GUI, excellent. Uh, so you modify your, uh, your display, save and exit. And if you click here, it's going to get you to Rofi as well. So <laughs> same, same thing. Uh, those are the workspaces. You got the, the clock and you got a weather widget. Hover over it. It's going to give you the uh, forecast. And if you want to change wallpaper, you just type way paper. And it's already pre-configured to use Sway BG. And I have included a few wallpapers. I configured it to, to show you the included wallpapers. Same package as KDE, of course, because those are a staple of Zero Linux. So let's say I want to apply this one. That's it. You click on it, and then you click Super Q. It's already applied. So, uh, and Kitty, uh, I think it's Super Enter. You get to Kitty, and as you can see, Fast Fetch will run because I told it to run. And with the Oh My Posh custom Oh My Posh pr uh, prompt created by a fan of the uh, of the project. So as you can see, there's my logo zero bash super Q to quit out of it. That's it. That's the Hyper Zero config file. I hope this video was uh, entertaining for you as much as it was for me. And that's it. Don't forget to like, comment, and uh, subscribe, and hit the bell to get notified. And if you want to support me financially, all the links will be in the description below. And uh, if you want to uh, uh, report any issues, of course, either do it on GitHub or join my Discord, also linked be below in the description under socials. And uh, let's, let's make this even better, shall we? With that being said, thank you everyone for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.